everybody is a bit sleepy early in the morning. My name is Danny. Um, let's start the show. Okay, uh, me and Siti, we have been dancing salsa since 2010. Okay, just now what we did is salsa is a Latin dance. And in 2013, we, we went to another dance, it's called Bachata. It's, uh, this dance is from Dominican, so it's a very romantic dance. And then in 2015, we get involved in Kizumba, which now me and Cindy is sort of doing full time. Kizumba, this dance originates from Angola. Angola is from Africa. It has a mix of, because in Angola, it is colonized by Portugal. So Portugal, they influence their influence dance called Zouk, and then Angola have their own dance called Samba. And uh, Kizumba was born, and then um, that's it. And if you search the word Kizumba in Europe, it is it is almost crazy. People is dancing Kizumba like nobody business now. So in 2015, I got involved. There are some school te te teachers from Angola who came here to promote. Okay. So I have a short introduction. My name is Danny. I I'm a Singaporean. I was based in Beijing since 2004. Well, actually, I have a daytime job. Okay, okay. I'm 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 into property management. I'm a I'm a technical consultant. Um, but actually, a lot of people always joke to me, your your full time job now become taxi. Okay. I'm a dance instructor. Okay. In my part time, I do DJ, and. Um, I do a lot of events, I do a lot of dance events, okay? And I love to do video, I'm a videographer, and I do a lot of video editing. And uh, my hobby is dancing, scuba diving, I've been scuba diving since 96, okay? So I'm a veteran. You know, I love snowboarding, I love to ski, I do horse riding, I do badminton. A lot of people ask me, how can you do so many things at one go? But I tell you, it's possible, okay, it's possible. Cindy, Cindy is, is my life partner, okay? She's based in Beijing. She has a daytime job. She's a financial, finance consultant. And uh, she likes dancing, of course, together with me. Uh, she's a performer. She loves fashion. Like you said today, she wear, you know, she's always into fashion. So if you like about fashion, look for her. Oh, she's an event organizer like me. So her hobby is almost the same as mine. Okay, you can follow us quickly in Facebook, okay? CD Club, okay, Y C C is Cindy, D for Danny. So we are CD Club Kizumba, okay? Look for us in Facebook, Instagram, and uh, WeChat. Okay. Actually, today is not talk about us, okay? Um, why dance? Um, I believe dance is a form of energy. I, I like to use this energy to give that I think I can give back to society. So why dance? Okay, in, in America, dance therapy, do a quick one. You guys read about it. Of course, on the physical level, no, exercise is, is a form of exercise. So everybody know exercise is good for you, okay? But on the other hand, on the emotional part, I think dancing itself really gives you um, a kind of well-being is that when you have a hard day, at work. Especially me and Cindy, she's very stressed out, she's in the financial sector. Me, I'm in the property property management. Every day we face a lot of complaints and people. So on our free time, when we go to our dance, I tell you all our frustration and anger of the day, it really stresses you. No? So it really distress you. So these are all abstract that I took down from internet. Okay, in UK they have they have other uh, benefits that I uh, they, they talk about the benefits of uh, dance so we just run through quickly so in, on the physical level again okay it's good for your heart and lungs definitely your muscle okay and uh, it, it helps you to coordinate I tell you dancing itself in the beginning you you find that you cannot coordinate but as you as you do it every day okay your muscle memory okay dance is all about muscle memory if you continue for at least three months down the line, I tell you, you can be not as good as me, but okay, at least you can dance. 
I can guarantee you three months down the line. So if you do it every day, every day about maybe about an hour of practice, I guarantee you three months you can dance on the social dance floor. Okay, and uh, let's move on. Okay, this one maybe is controversy, but it is not a cure for cancer. But in Hong Kong, they did the trial. Uh, the dance therapy can uh, give you. It, it can distress a cancer patient. Okay, when they dance, they distress them. They 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 have a kind of hope. Okay, a lot a lot of studies has also shown that um, stress causes is a that is is a cause of cancer also. So dancing can really relaxes you and uh, emotionally. Okay, so that's why we love to dance. And this part about today, that's what we're talking about, charity. Okay? In Cambodia, there is a success story of this guy. He's actually deported from US back to Cambodia. But this guy is a Cambodian, but he's not born in Cambodia. So he went to a place which is totally new for him. Okay? He was not born in Cambodia, but because at a young age, he was actually born in Thailand. He went to US, he was a gang member, so when he was deported back in, in, in Cambodia, he sees a lot of children on the street taking drugs and, and, and nobody take care of them, okay, homeless. So as he was dancing on the street, he, there's a lot of kids who came to him and said, come on, can I learn how to dance back then? So it was very cool. So as he started to take in a lot of homeless kids, he decided to have a home for them. Make sure that they are out of the street, not taking drugs, but doing dance to rechannel their energy. Okay, so this later, there's a video, I will show it to you. Thanks. Okay, today I talk about, my main focus is um, this organization called Inspiring Dance Project. Um, it's called Chinese Ling Wu, which I was involved in 2016. But I did not jump into it because 2016 was the best moment of my life. Okay, uh, I met Cindy in 2015. We decided to spend time together to do a lot of dancing. So as we were dancing, very busy, and I got attention on this organization but I was not involved until the next year and that was history. I will show you a video what is Lin Wu all about. Okay I think videos tells the story. Okay so enjoy the video. Thank you. The link wasn't so good so we will play from here.
with 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 your heart, then you can sustain, you can continue with this thing. I tell you, because in our life, it's sad because we put charity behind us. We put our job in front of us. Okay, charity is only when I have time I go. But I hope I hope the schools next time or maybe the government will change the mindset. Charity should come first. Okay, the last part is social. Charity cannot be done. I don't know. I think it cannot be done at home. Like no. So for me, for Cindy, because we social a lot, our kind of dance we have to do a lot of parties. Not drinking parties and dance party. Um, we need to social. So when we social, we meet people. We influence people. We get people to be aware of what we are doing, and we spread the love. Okay. So this is my experience. Okay. Again, here I say use use your advantage. Your advantage can be your talent, your positive energy to to inspire people. Okay. I believe everybody inside here. You must be good in something. Oops. You must be. You must be good in something. Okay. Be it you are a chief financial. You can do a very good accounting. You are a good photographer. I believe there are a lot of good photographer. Okay. You must be good in something to to contribute. Okay. Procrastination is, I think, the worst enemy of everybody. Okay. Every year, at the end of the year, I say I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do a lot of things, but never done it. Okay, and actually, for me, actually, I'm a perfectionist. The video you saw, I didn't, I didn't sleep. Sydney was there. I didn't sleep for twenty four hours just to do this video. I didn't sleep. Okay, that is my worst enemy. Why? When you are perfectionist. You always say I'm not ready for this. I must hundred percent make sure everything is ready. Then I jump into it. But look at look at Cambodia. That guy, he didn't he didn't expect to do it. He was not planned to do it. He just do it. So don't procrastinate. Okay. So if you if you if you decided to do something, move to your first step, and then you no, know, you will know where it leads you to. Okay. No, of course the last part is. Know your limit. Don't be a yes man. Because when you're a yes man, you 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 commit too much. Ah, I do this charity A, I do this charity B, then I do this charity C, I do this charity D. You cannot be everywhere at one time. Decide which are the best organization. Go and do your research, and then use your talent, your passion, to get involved. Okay. Ask always ask question when you go to a charity, different organization. Ask question. You have the right to ask a lot of question. Okay. As a charity, if we if it if the organization tell you that you know uh, we are like that, we don't have answers, we don't have write out. No. Then you move on to a charity that fits you. Okay. In terms of their financial, where they are from, what they do, how I can contribute. Okay. The last part, of course, I just want to quote from Winston Churchill is. Everybody make a, makes a living. Okay, that is normal. It's what we get. You know, our money, our recognition. But I tell you, to make a life, I think is to give. Okay, you give your passion and love. From here, I thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much.